Hey guys, I'm back with another hair tutorial. And this time I'm gonna show you how to do these easy crochet passion twists. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is the hair I used. I bought four packs of Afri 20 inch passion twists. And I was feeling kind of adventurous, wanted to try a little color. So I got them in 1B burgundy. Each pack was $9.99. So as always, I use vinegar to sanitize my braiding hair. I poured in about a cup and a half and a few inches of water. I also added in some shampoo. Then I swirled it around as you can see me doing here to create suds. Tossed each bundle into the water and made sure all the hair was fully submerged. Then I let it soak for three hours. Once the time was up, I rinsed clean under running water, wrung out the hair and I let it air dry overnight. The next day it's fully dry, ready to go, it's clean, and the hair won't itch or otherwise irritate my scalp. Now, before installing, I did lightly blow dry out my hair. Most times I don't bother to do this step. However, for the method I'm gonna be doing today, stretching out my hair with the blow dryer is gonna help it set and stay in formation for longer, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. And now that I'm blown out, I'm beginning by first parting my hair from ear to ear. I'm gonna tuck away the first half for now and start from the back, then work my way forward. I'm making a part going straight across and I'm gonna be laying the twist staggered like bricks. And for each section, I'm making them, I would say a little bigger than medium. I didn't want the parts to be super small or for the finished style to be bulky. So the size you see me doing here worked out perfectly. Then I'm taking edge booster edge control and applying that to my roots. Then brushing it to get the hair to lay super flat. Split that section into three pieces and pretty tightly I'm making a plait. I'm not gonna go far with this, I'm only plaiting down about an inch. Slide in open crochet hook underneath the base of the plait, then attach the loop of the passion twist onto the hook. Close the latch and pull it over to the other side. Once it's like this, you're gonna slide the twist over to free it from the hook. Bring over the other side of the passion twist, close the latch and feed it through the loop of the crochet twist. You can remove the latch hook at this point and pull the entire length of the twist through. Pull it again to tighten at the base. And now you have your twist and your real hair. So to finish this off, I'm taking some more of that edge control and applying it all the way down my loose hair. You wanna use just enough of the edge control so that your hair is super smooth and pretty much straight. Then starting at the top, take your real hair and wrap it tightly in the same direction that the passion twist is going. And the reason why I'm using edge control for this is because it really freezes the hair and keeps it in place in that spiral shape. And the good thing about this method is you can go a lot quicker than the traditional way of doing passion twists since you don't have to twist all the way down the full length. You only have to twist just enough so that your real hair is wound and that's it. So that's why I call it the cheap method. It really helps to cut down on time and just uh, makes it so much easier. So it's a pretty straightforward, simple process and I just continued making those medium sized parts and installing the passion twists. Here I am with the back half completed. It just literally breezed right on by. And for the front, I did a middle part with three rows on each side. For the bottom row, I made two twists. And for the other two rows, I'm gonna do three twists each for a total of eight twists on each side of my middle part.
Okay, one last time, super close in. So I applied the edge control to my roots, brushed smooth, split the hair into three pieces and started to plait down, making sure there is very little slack while doing so. Stop about an inch down, then slide the open hook under the plait, attach the passion twist to the hook, close the hook and bring the start of the twist over to the other side, then place the other side of the passion twist on and feed the end of the twist through the loop. Pull at the base to secure, apply edge control to the loose hair until it is stick straight. Then wind it around the passion twist, making sure to go in the same direction. And that's about it. Last step, I'm using my edge control again to lay my edges down. This is a truly one product style here, ladies and gentlemen. All I had to use was this edge control <laughs> for the whole thing. And here is the finished look, you guys. I absolutely love the color. I'm so glad I went with this burgundy blend. And this took me about two hours start to finish. Ended up using three packs of the hair and I did 40 passion twists total. The twists themselves, they're lightweight, they're really flexible, super easy to move around, and they're extremely versatile. You can do so many styles with them. So I'll show you guys a few options. Here I'm doing a messy low bun situation. You can also do a high bun with some little curlies coming down. I think that's really cute. You can do half up, half down, a high loose ponytail, just to name a few ideas. At nighttime, what I do is gather all the twists up into a bun, then put on this bonnet type thing and go to bed. In the morning, I take off the bonnet, brush my edges in place, style it how I want to, and that's all I have to do. Maintenance for these is a piece of cake. If you start to have some stray hairs come loose, all you have to do is apply a tiny bit of plain water to your real hair. This will help reactivate the product that you've already placed on it. Then rewind it tightly around the passion twist and it looks as good as new. So I really appreciate the ease of this style. When it comes time to remove, also extremely simple. All you have to do is find the end of your real hair and unwrap it from around the passion twist. Then unloop the passion twist at the base and you can slide it right out. But yeah guys, that's it. That's how I achieved this look. Y'all let me know what you think of it down in the comments and I'll see you over on my next one. Bye.